How did the first people venture to our nearest celestial neighbor, the Moon? Today we'll explore the historic Apollo 11 mission, its significance, and the interesting stories that unfolded in the background, like the story of the pen that got the crew home safely. But first, let's get to know the history of Apollo 11. Apollo 11 stands as an iconic milestone in human history, marking the moment when humanity first set foot on another celestial body. This historic American spaceflight launched from Kennedy Space Center, Florida on July 16, 1969, captured the world's imagination and catapulted humankind into a new era of exploration. The mission captivated millions worldwide as they gathered around television sets, storefront windows and radios, eagerly witnessing humanity's first steps and hearing the first words spoken on a different world. Although the mission seemed flawless, today we'll deep dive into the details of Apollo 11, which was only seconds away from a totally different outcome. What was the main goal of the mission, and who were the lucky ones to write history? Commanded by Neil Armstrong, accompanied by Lunar Module Pilot Buzz Aldrin, and with Michael Collins piloting the Command Module Columbia in lunar orbit, Apollo 11 embarked on its journey towards the moon aboard the Saturn V rocket, the largest and most powerful launch vehicle at that time. The spacecraft comprised three essential components, the Command Module, CM, the Service Module, SM, and the Lunar Module, LM. The main goal of the mission was to soft land on the surface with astronauts for the first time in human history. On July 20, 1969, after traveling 230,000 miles for three days, Armstrong and Aldrin descended to the lunar surface in the Apollo Lunar Module Eagle, while Collins remained in lunar orbit. 230,000 miles in three days? Yes. It might sound shocking but the Apollo spacecraft was launched to the moon at a staggering 24,000 miles per hour with the Saturn rocket. Minutes after the descent started, Eagle touched down in the Sea of Tranquility, marking a momentous achievement for humanity. The pair landed in the lunar module which was not the most spacious spacecraft to say the least. Eagle was so small that there was no room for seats. While it dropped 60 miles to the moon's surface, Neil and Buzz had to stand up. The landing was quite tricky as well. It was manually controlled by Armstrong, and only 30 seconds of fuel reserves were left at the moment of touchdown. Neil Armstrong took the historic first step onto the moon's surface at 2.56 UTC on July 21, 1969, with Aldrin following 19 minutes later. Since there's no atmosphere on the moon those legendary footsteps are still visible on the surface to this day, forever marking humanity's greatest leap to the cosmos. Armstrong and Aldrin explored the lunar terrain, collecting samples and conducting experiments, spending a total of 21 hours and 36 minutes on the moon before lifting off to rejoin Collins in lunar orbit. Gravity on the moon is only one-sixth as strong as gravity on Earth. If you jumped on the moon you'd go six times higher. Astronauts had to be very careful on the surface while moving. The mission was not merely a scientific endeavor but also a symbolic triumph in the space race, fulfilling President John F. Kennedy's vision set forth in 1961. Kennedy's ambitious goal to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth before the end of the decade was realized with Apollo 11's success. Do you know what were the first spoken words on the surface of the moon? Armstrong's famous words upon stepping onto the lunar surface, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, resonated around the globe, capturing the significance of the moment. The live broadcast of this historic event captivated audiences worldwide with billions watching the historic moment, symbolizing humanity's ability to overcome seemingly impossible challenges and reach for the stars. You might be surprised, but a pen saved the two brave astronauts on the surface. As Armstrong and Aldrin were making their final preparations to depart the lunar surface during the mission, a seemingly minor mishap could have spelled disaster. Aldrin inadvertently hit a circuit breaker switch with his bulky life support backpack, breaking the switch lever cleanly off. This threatened to leave the the ascent engine inoperable, although it was crucial for their return to the orbiting command module. With limited resources and tools including the disposal of most of their equipment to reduce weight, the astronauts found themselves facing a critical, life-threatening moment. In an act of desperation, Neil Armstrong utilized a humble felt-tipped pen, ingeniously activating the switch and ensuring the engine's functionality for their safe journey back to Earth. Apollo 11's safe return to Earth on July 24, 1969, marked the culmination of years of dedication, innovation, and collaboration. 
It solidified the United States' position as a leader in space exploration and inspired generations to come, proving the boundless potential of human ingenuity and determination. What was your favorite moment from the Apollo missions? Let us know in the comments. We hope you enjoyed this episode and want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Orbital Prime and click the like button along with the bell to be notified when we release new episodes.